Tarmani's nights in the vibrant chaos of New York City were a blur of neon lights, pounding music and the haunting laughter of her newfound companions. The allure of the exotic had become a double-edged sword, cutting through the tapestry of her innocence. The shadows that once clung to her now seemed to dance alongside her, whispering promises of temporary relief from the pain that had followed her across oceans. As she sank deeper into the abyss of her new lifestyle, Tamani found herself entangled in conversations with men whose intentions were as murky as the city skyline. One night, a smooth-talking stranger named Jake approached her at a dimly lit bar. His words dripped with charm, promising an escape from the loneliness that had become her constant companion. Thamani, my dear, life is too short to be alone in this concrete jungle. Let me show you the wonders that lie beneath the surface. Jake purred, his eyes glinting with mischief. Tamani, craving connection, succumbed to the allure of adventure. Their late-night escapades became a routine, leading her further down the path of self-destruction. The laughter of her inner demons grew louder with every sip of alcohol, every puff of smoke, and every stolen moment of intimacy in the dark corners of the city. Her friends, once a source of solace, now egged her on their encouragement fueling her descent into a tumultuous existence. In a hazy conversation with her closest confidant, Mia, Tamani revealed the desperation that had taken root within her. Mia, I don't know who I am anymore. The nights blur into days and I'm drowning in this sea of chaos. I thought coming here would free me, but I feel more trapped than ever. Tamani confessed, her voice shaky and raw. Mia, caught in her own struggles, offered solace tainted with the poison of their shared vices. Tamani, we're survivors in a world that never understood us. Embrace the chaos. It's the only way to forget the pain. As these substances took their toll on Tamani's mental health, her journey into the inferno's laughter took an unexpected turn. In a moment of despair, she stumbled upon an unlikely ally an old man named Mr. Johnson, who saw through the facade she wore like a mask. Young lady, the shadows you're chasing won't lead you to salvation. They'll only deepen the void within. Mr. Johnson warned, his weathered eyes reflecting a wisdom born from a lifetime of battles. Tamani, touched by his sincerity, found herself at a crossroads. The echoes of her choices reverberated in her mind and she realized that the path she walked was a precarious one. The shadows that once seemed like allies were, in truth, the architects of her own undoing. In the next installment of The Inferno's Laughter, Tamani faces the daunting task of confronting her demons, seeking redemption in a city that simultaneously embraces and devours those who dare to dream. The journey ahead promises twists, turns, and a glimmer of hope in the darkest corners of her soul.